This new Wolfpack 325 here at Halid RV is baring its teeth. This is the sharpest looking Wolfpack I've seen to date. This current generate, there's going to be some exciting things coming down the pipe with the other layouts if they're all going to look like this, which they are. We've got a 13 foot garage, uh, opposing living room slides, patio party deck system, easy entry, more ride steps, and a partridge in a pear tree. This is 10 pounds of sugar in a five pound sack. Now, one of the most critical questions with any toy hauler is what can you put in it? And in the case of this one with a 13 foot garage, the answer is just about anything you want. Um, now, like most toy haulers, we've got that drop down power queen bed above with the dual individual sort of theater style sofa recliners below that can roll over into an additional sleeping space. And I love the uh, updated garage flooring that they've had here. Um, I mean, for so many years, we've almost just called it uh, diamond plate garage flooring, but this new industrial garage floor that they have on these private garage wolf packs looks amazing. And you have no less than 15 tie downs in this garage. So if you do have a couple bikes in here or a couple four wheelers and a dirt bike or whatever, you're not going to be fighting for tie downs, which is awesome. Now, uh, back here, we've got our, uh, this is a half bath and uh, half bath, like I'm, I'm suddenly um, from the UK, but a uh, half bath. There we go. And a uh, loft above. So if you are going to use this like an alternative bunkhouse, you're going to be good to go. This one does actually have washer and dryer prep, which not all Wolfpack uh, fifth wheel toy haulers will have. And I like the the, the lighting in that uh, updated pass-through door that we have right here. Well, not the lighting, but the fact that it, the light can transfer through so that you can, it, it makes everything look and feel bigger. And if you are going to make this thing party central, you've got living room, bedroom, garage TV hookups, and even outside TV hookups. And then, just in case, uh, no matter where you're sitting, where you're sleeping, you're never going to be too far away to charge your phones and devices and everything else, which is just so, so handy. This is definitely going to be a model you want to pack up ahead of time, and it's going to be great for destination use. With those opposing slides and the extended peninsula countertop right here, they will kind of block you off in transit from the living area. Although, of course, we always maintain easy, easy access to the bedroom and the bathroom upstairs. Now, at first glance in here, you're not going to see a lot of updates compared to the previous season. And it's because they didn't need to make any major updates. In their class and category and price point, Wolfpack is the single best-selling uh, toy hauler out there. So they didn't need to reinvent the wheel. But the more you start looking at the fine details, the more they've really tightened the screws on this. And I am exceptionally happy with what I'm seeing. This is, like I said, the best looking Wolfpack ever. Now, one thing I want to zero in on real quick is the refrigerator. Standard, a Wolfpack uh, fifth wheel like this is going to have a, uh, a electric only refrigerator. A lot of toy haulers are going to be used for off-grid use, however, so we do like to swap that out for the uh, RV fridge that you're seeing right there. But keep in mind that that might not be the same as the one that we have in stock. This one could be different from uh, the one that is on hand here at Halet RV. Now, uh, one of the big facets of this floor plan is the loft. So let's get a little closer look at that, shall we? The uh, ladder position. A lot of brands will make the mistake of installing the ladder mounts directly in front of this big door. So by having it offset a little closer to the entertainment side here, it makes it much, much easier to leave the ladder in place and not cut off the camper. Now you've got your power outlets up top, uh, you know, for all the uh, extra kid devices. I like the extra skylight up here. And uh, you might actually see as we look around, this loft actually does wrap all the way around. My arm's just not quite long enough to get there. Now you notice how the mattress does stop before it hits the edge there. This is a traditional um, bunk sized mattress that is uh, by purpose and intent because it leaves a lot of extra room up there for cargo space. And if you do need the extra sleeping space, it's not necessarily hard to, to figure out another method of bedding. Um, the entertainment center right here you can see it goes all the way to the roof, and we are going to uh, get that opened up in a minute here. But one thing I want to zero in on are some entertainment changes. There are um, not as many people using DVDs nowadays. A lot of people are looking for, like, hey, I want Blu-ray or something like that, but not everybody. It's a hard thing for a manufacturer to try to accomplish. So what you're going to start seeing through a lot of the industry is actually this right here. This is a really slick Furion uh, Bluetooth stereo system, but it has excellent expandability. 
Um, you've got face-mounted HDMI and USB ports. So if you are looking for those like streaming media sticks, Roku, Chromecast, Amazon Fire, whatever, you can plug that stuff in here. You can plug in a phone or music player of your choice and play some music through the thing. But it has um, entertainment expandability without having uh, a thing like a DVD stereo that a lot of people just don't care about anymore. Now, uh, you can see you see that right across from the seating, we have this huge entertainment center. It could, it could easily accommodate a 40-inch TV, maybe more. I haven't hard measured it. Um, you will find, though, that a, uh, a Wolfpack is not going to include a TV from the factory. Because not everyone is interested in camp camping entertainment, basically, or you know, watching TV while you're in your RV, especially in a toy hauler when a lot of people are out and about. This is more of a what I call Larry Lunch Bucket and Jane Six Pack style fifth wheel toy hauler, where this is not all the glitz and the glitter. Now it's clean, it's pretty, it's super super effective, but it's not over the top in any way. That's one of the reasons why it's less than half the price of some of our other fifth wheel toy haulers that we offer here at Halo RV, but. Uh, long story short, what we've found at Halo RV, if you want to add a TV to it, guys, we can go across the street and we can add a TV to this thing and pay a tech to install it for less than we can get one from the factory. So, and, and chances are it's going to be a better grade TV anyway. Now below that, and we'll circle back to this in the kitchen, but any sort of countertop in this is going to be what's called thermofoil. It's a sealed edge pressed membrane so that, God forbid there's any water exposure, it's really hard for it to soak up and swell in there. You've got a remote controlled electric space heating fireplace below that can be used just for LED visuals, by the way. And then to uh, kind of really put it over the top, uh, normally what you would find here is a U dinette. And that's how we've built these for years and years and years. However, we've found more and more and more people are wanting to go to a sofa and then utilize the free floating table that's already included with this toy hauler that we'll actually see outside if you want it for dining. So you can still eat here, but in the meantime, it's not as big, it's not as bulky and blocky, it's not in your face. It's a more comfortable seating arrangement, and as you can see, they're wall-hugging theater recliners, and even the center section reclines. Now, you've got big windows in this one for some excellent views, and what's also neat is you've, you do have the nicer uh, roll-down blackout nightshades, and those things, if you want to blot out the sun, you can. And I wasn't joking, you're gonna find USB plugs all over the darn place in this one. Now, over here in the kitchen, that is, uh, in years past, they actually had this sort of foam faux brick stuff in the lower uh, kitchen area, and um, they've actually gone to, it still has that look, but it's actually an extremely high-def printed panel, and the benefit to that is it's a little less expensive, guys, it still looks great, and it's not a potential fire hazard like they found out the foam stuff happened to be. Whoops. <laughs> um, so once again, we've got those all thermal foil countertops here. You got a high-rise sprayer faucet. This is uh, what's called the farm sink, the extra large stainless sink below. Oops, I uh, kind of jostled that a little bit here. Now, another thing I like is this little entry kick out right here. It sort of fills that role of sort of like an entry bureau or a place by the house where you can walk in, sit down, drop your keys. And if that's not the best spot for a coffee maker right there, I don't know what is. But there's a lot of storage in this kitchen that we haven't seen yet. So what do you say we uh, take a look and see what she's got to offer? Now these cabinets above the entertainment center, um, you're definitely going to want a two or three stepper to get to them depending on how tall or how uh, gravity friendly <laughs> you might be. Um, over here though, this pantry, this is going to be your everyday in and out space and that is huge. It is, I'm eyeballing it here guys, but it's about six foot, six or six six tall roughly. So this pantry alone is about as tall as most travel trailers. And uh, once again, you might need some steps to get to it, but you see how deep the refrigerator is? That's how deep the cabinets above it are. You know, because this is a toy hauler with such a tall ceiling, they were able to make those overhead cabinets extra, extra large. Um, now, anywhere you see countertop, you're going to see space below it. Uh, like uh, that big pocket to the left of the stove top right there. And I love the fact that between uh, the recessed sink and stove, you've got some really good prep area in here. Now, speaking of that, you might notice this uh, food grade bamboo cutting board back here. And I looked at it and I'm like, what? How, how is it sitting there? I figured it was vertically slotted in place. So I walked over here and grabbed it. And lo and behold, it's actually magnetically latched. 
These are the exact same sort of magnet holdbacks that you'll find on baggage doors. How cool is this thing? When you're done with it, there you go. You know, it, it, because it hangs vertically, it doesn't eat up any horizontal counter space. And then the actual magnet holdbacks themselves act sort of like little feet. So it's a very cool little cutting board when and where you need it. It's good for indoor use, outdoor use, doesn't matter. And then once again, as soon as you're done with it, it occupies absolutely no storage space. There is no loss of space to that. That is a very cool thing. And the way they did that is the slickest, neatest thing. I got to believe that they were on some kind of user forum and they saw one of these little camping hack jobs and said, oh, we got to do that. That's not hard to do. Now down here, one thing I do want to point out is instead of an oven, they do uh, put a convection microwave in place of the oven very much in the, the same sort of way and fashion, um, I guess, as a, uh, a motorhome, really. Now, taking a look at the remainder of the kitchen, I wanted to uh, open everything up here under that peninsula countertop. And you can see, like, so far you haven't seen drawers. You obviously have easy access drawers, plenty of them, and the bottom two drawers are actually extra large, if you notice. Now, down here... Um, you've got all sorts of shelf space. I know a lot of people are going to say, where does a wastebasket go? It would not be hard to put a little cutaway in one of those to leave wastebasket space. But given the size of this floor plan and how much walking room there is there, I think I just actually set a larger wastebasket uh, on the, the side of the peninsula countertop here. Now, uh, again, anywhere you see counter space, you're going to see storage. And I do like that extra little pocket above it. They, they've wasted nothing here. Uh, one other thing I want to point out, like I said, it was the small things that were updated, like these wall panels. They have a, uh, a very nice wood grain sort of look to them. They've got, uh, it's actually not textured, but buddy, does it look like it. And that's the thing is like, you have to reach out. I had to touch it the first time I saw it because even the way that it, it reflects light, looks like it's got a texture and a shape to it so it's got a uh, like i said they, they did some very smart low dollar but good looking things to this um a lot of times people mistake shiny for quality you know um and this is uh this is a great brand we really don't see them back in the service department um are they the flashiest fanciest thing no but they've got I think a good look. They've got the right sizzle. They've got the right hot sauce in the right places. Like this Max Air vent fan up here in the bathroom area. That right here is giving us much, much better airflow than one of those traditional little four inch plastic fans. Now over here, you've got that big shower. And uh, because this thing is extra tall all the way through the bathroom area, you, if you're, I don't know, you're gonna be six and a half foot tall for that to be an issue. Um, the radius shower enclosure is going to give you the extra elbow room that you're gonna want and need. And this thing has excellent floor space in the bathroom area here. Now you've actually got two of these extra large, I guess, medicine cabinets, but this one behind us is a little bit bigger and it's gonna function as something of a, uh, a linen space here. Whereas this one's going to be your, your primary sort of medicine vanity cabinet. Same waterproof countertop that you have there, but an extra large sink so that it is, uh, you know, easier to get adult size hands in there and clean all the, uh, the trail and the road grime off your hands. Now this is a dual entry bathroom and bedroom. So it doesn't matter what side of the bed you're on, it's easier to get through. And notice that there's no step up around the bed. That's one of the things I really like about these. Now, being wide body, they were able to go to a bigger bed. Last year, they used just a traditional little camp queen. This year, they have winded it up to give you that extra sleeping space so the two of you can roll over at night without, you know, slapping one another inadvertently. Now, the second air conditioner up here in the bedroom, that is an optional piece of equipment. However, we've really found that in something this size, guys, if you're not running a second air, you are probably going to be regretting it, If you're, especially if you're parked in direct sun. You want to add a bedroom TV, you're good to go. And little details like having actual uh, light switches for your main ceiling lights are excellent. Now, last year, they had these full-length hanging closets, which was neat. But if you take a look this year, this is, I think, one of those simple, smart, didn't really cost anything revisions where they've added like a dresser drawer on both sides of the bed and just enough of a shelf to put like phone chargers or CPAPs. And of course, you've got your uh, built-in... Um, uh, you know, USB plugs all over the place, and an easy lift bed, obviously, makes it, uh, you just, it's not, it couldn't be easier to get under here. Now, that portable picnic table we're going to look at outside, that could easily ride in the basement of the RV, or you could throw it under here when you're going down the road and just pull it out whenever you need it. 
and that is a big chunk of real estate down there. There was one, there's several, but there's one major shift and update compared to previous generations, and that is the skin. Last year, uh, the aluminum corrugated skin, as seen on this wolf pack over here, uh, was standard, and then the fiberglass skin was made optional. What they really found is that over 90% of people if, uh, would want the fiberglass skin if the wolf pack in question had a slide out. So that's going to be the thing this year. If the wolf pack has a slide out, standard fiberglass skin now. If it does not have a slide, traditional standard corrugated skin. So that'll give you an idea. I don't think most of them that you're going to find in the marketplace are going to look any different in that regard. However, the updated graphics package they have on this with the lines instead of the Nike Adidas swooshes, I'm all for it. I think it's sharp, it's modern, it makes this thing look like it's moving when it's sitting still. I am a fan. It has something of a, a classic look while being modern at the same time. So. Uh, last year is when you saw the introduction of the, the nicer Moride stable steps with the adjustable foot pegs here on these wolf packs. And as a person who also camps, uh, having spent a weekend in an RV that have those things, I am such a fan. I'm such a big fan. The one I hear people say sometimes, yeah, but don't they flip dirt into your camper? And my question to you is, you don't brush off your steps before you flip them into your camper? To me, that's a easy thing to potentially overcome here. Um, larger entry handle for easy coming and going. And we do have an anti-slam entry door that'll catch itself so it's not gonna whip against the side of the trailer. Now, as long as we're down here, I wanna take a knee to point out, you do have a gas grill quick connect, like anything in the Cherokee uh, you know, family, your main Cherokee Gray Wolf Wolf Pup Wolf Pack, that's the core of the family there. Um, you'll have that outside grill connection. Now this is that floating portable table I've made mention of several times. It's got the same thermal foil countertop as the, the sinks and everything else. Um, but the, uh, the thing is, it, it's extremely lightweight. And those little folding legs make it very thin and easy to fit through doorways when you want to move it around. So you want to put it in front of the, uh, the three-place theater reclining sofa to eat a meal? Knock it out. You want to store it under the bed, knock it out. Put it in the garage, here, anywhere, on the roof. I don't know why you do that. I think that's not a good idea, but hey, knock it out. You could, you get the idea. Um, the uh, pass-through storage here is slightly larger than it was in years past, but it is finished a little bit nicer. And that's, remember, they didn't really change the recipe. It's kind of like a brand new look, same great taste sort of thing. Simple side mount solar prep here for portable panels. Very nice if you're parked in the shade and you want to use a portable panel to chase the sun, because uh, if you're parked in the shade, you know, you're not going to get a lot of sunlight. These are going to be gen prepped. And if they're gen prepped, that means that they have a 30 gallon fuel station and that 30 gallon fuel cell will share between the uh, station and the um, uh, generator right there if a generator is added. Now, uh, these are 102 wide body. Uh, so they are max width wide body, which is going to give us the maximum potential loading space. Uh, so not only is it a 13 foot garage, but it's a wide, it's a, it's a max width garage as well. Plus the extra living space, especially up there in the bedroom where they were able to put a bigger bed with, with, without sacrificing the ability to walk around it. You can thank the wide body nature of that. Now, as we're coming over here, I want to point out, we do have a simple black tank flush, but what I really want to show you well, I guess try to show you because you can't really see it is what's down below. So this has enclosed holding tanks like most of these always had previously. Last year, you could option on holding tank heaters. Those have become standard. So the uh, fiberglass skin, the holding tank heaters, and several other things have become standard. Their options list has shrank from like 15 to 5. And uh, most of those are going to be things like the patio deck, the uh, theater recliner uh, chairs in the slide out and the second AC that we've optioned onto this one that you see here in this video. Um, those, you know, it's, it's stuff that you're probably going to want anyway. Now this is kind of neat. First of all, you have separate cable and satellite hookups, which is cool, so you don't have to jump cables all the time. But you have both a full hot cold outside shower to maybe hose yourself off if you've been in the lake or something. And then just a simple cold water sprayer port. Now the difference here is you can put a residential fitting on the type of hoses that connect to that fitting right there. Um, so you can have a normal, like, sort of sprayer handle. Um, the uh, large 16 inch big radial tires, those are the same things I see in a lot of luxury fifth wheels. And just little smart stuff like this, having a sewer hose caddy right here so that your, um, you know, 
black tank stuff doesn't have to mingle with the rest of your stuff, especially not the freshwater stuff. Oh God, that's a good way to get sick, but I see people do that all the time. Quit doing that. Also, power rear stabilizer jacks make everything push button simple. Over here is where you do have that 30 gallon um, fueling station that I've already mentioned. And then again, the patio party deck back here. I cannot imagine a dealership worth their salt ever bringing in this RV for general inventory without this feature. Um, I, I'm surprised it's, it's even optional, but it is technically an option. That being said, short of something miraculously wacky, you're going to find this on every uh, you know toy hauler we carry here at Halet RV, in a fifth wheel anyway. A couple small trailers, it's not available, but any fifth wheel, any Wolfpack can have it anyway. Um, it's got a 3,000 pound load limit and a 1,500 pound um, uh, patio limit, as you see here. And it does use the uh, uh, quick set patio system here and that is not attached to the actual uh, ramp door itself. So you don't have to lift the weight of that entire patio setup like some of the older generations did. We are backup camera ready. Um, so whether you're looking for backup or observation models, you'll be good to go there. And if you notice, they didn't throw an awning directly above the slide to waste a bunch of awning space. And before we take a quick trip up to the roof, I did want to take a look at the dual awnings because I think it's one of the smarter things they've done here. Well, I don't know. They've done a lot of smart things on this one. But specifically, the fact that they didn't try to just like shove a big 20-foot awning over that really deep slide out in the living room area to, that would just really mess up a lot of your uh, patio space. So instead you kind of have dual zone patio. You sort of have like a private rear entertainment back here with outside hookups. And then up front we could sort of have our little solar prep outside storage uh, grilling station next to these new Moride steps. Now both of the awnings are going to have this neat blue LED accent lighting on them that against the really high gloss fiberglass skin of this Wolfpack it, uh, it, it really, really catches your attention at night. It, it makes the thing glow very, very nicely. That always on side mount roof ladder makes getting up here simple and easy. And you know, she's not flashy, she's not fancy up top. She does what she needs to. But what I like is the simple, clean execution here. And you can see the double air conditioner that we've applied. Again, the bedroom AC is going to be optional. But on something this size, I just think it's the right decision to have it on there. So, whether it's hitching, pieces, parts, trades, financing, truck and trailer package deals, RV delivery, and everything between, we do it all here at Halet RV. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping everyone.